Today we're gonna take a look at Cartoon Animator and one of its most innovative 2D motion capture workflows. Motion Life 2D is an amazing feature that will open the door to blending 3D motion capture devices into 2D animations. We're gonna see the benefit of such a technology, how to use it, and what its applications and implications are in the future for 2D animations. Before we continue, I would like to thank Reillusion for sponsoring this video and supporting the channel. Now, while Cartoon Animator was one of the first animation software to incorporate a lot of 3D techniques into 2D animation workflows, such as the iClone animation transfer for example, which lets you retarget animations and drive puppet motion from 3D iClone rig to Cartoon Animator, which is impressive. This one here goes above and beyond and it might be just able to change even how we think about 2D animation in the first place. In a nutshell, Motion Life 2D is a real-time motion capturing plugin for Cartoon Animator, which allows you to drive face, body, and hand animations using a normal RGB video feed from your webcam or iPhone camera. And the workflow is slightly different between the two, which we'll get into shortly. This way of doing animation can save you a ridiculous amount of time compared to doing it manually. Take for instance, facial mocap. With facial mocap, you can use a webcam to track your expressions with head and eye movements. But you can generate natural body animations driven by head position and movements. This makes it perfect for virtual productions, in addition to performance capture, live TV, or streaming and broadcasting. Speaking of streaming, this could work perfectly as a VTuber avatar. So after installing the Motion Life 2D plugin, which is a paid plugin from the Reillusion website, you will find it under the plugin menu at the top of the screen. The Motion Life 2D panel will pop up, and it is very similar to Motion Life panel in iClone. The window itself is divided into two sections, the gear list and the character list. The gear list shows which hardware you are using for motion capture. Under that, you have multiple profiles. The Face 3D profile uses your webcam to capture facial expressions. And then you have the Live Face profile, which uses an iPhone X instead. Now, you can use the webcam or the iPhone to drive facial animations, as well as face and body animations. And under the character section, you just have to select your target character. Once you see your character added to the list, you can choose and assign which gear or device is going to control a certain body part. From the drop down menus, you can pick which device will be used to capture the face, body, and hands. So you can hook your webcam or just use your built in laptop camera. Launch the Face 3D Tracker application and connect it with the Motion Live 2D back in Cartoon Animator. On the video feed, you can see useful information like resolution and frame rate. But at the very top, you can see when it is disconnected, which means it is not connected to the Motion Live 2D yet. To do that, click the orange circle icon next to the Face 3D option. Once it turns green, that means you are connected and ready to go. Now hit preview and try to look at the camera directly. After that, hit set zero pose to calibrate your face to the camera. You can also set the zero pose for body capture as well. You just square up the camera in the neutral position and hit set zero pose. Now, next to your character, under the face column, you can click the little arrow icon and pick face 3D from the list. And just a heads up, you can connect multiple devices at the same time. So you can have your webcam driving facial expressions while maybe an iPhone is plugged into the body and hand section. Now you can just hit the big red record button at the bottom and all your actions will be recorded. I mean, you can go crazy here. And once you're happy with the performance, you can hit space to stop the recording process. I don't have to tell you why this is really powerful and why it will save you a ton of time. But this is not everything. If you hit F3 and check your timeline under motion, you can see the mocap data. You can save this to your content manager and reuse it on different characters on your future projects. And of course, you can also adjust the keyframes manually and even record your voice while doing the performance. All in all, it is a complete system to craft, very believable, and dynamic character motion in no time. The application of this new approach is literally endless. With real-time performance and instant feedback, 
it would be really easy to iterate through ideas and speed up production, which I think can be helpful for different projects and different professionals, especially live performances and interactive events. You can just take a look at some of the examples which look very promising. And on top of that, Cartoon Animator packs a ton of other features that allow you to edit your animations like freeform deformation, vector graphics workflow, the latest motion pilot with puppet animation and motion paths, Photoshop integration, and much more. So guys, if you found this interesting, you can try Cartoon Animator for free by following the link in the description down below. I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.